Lego. Lego my Lego. Lego. Lego my Lego. What's up, fellas? How you doing? How we doing? You know, I'm all right. My my nickname, my friends in school, my nickname in in seventh grade was Captain Ego. What? Yeah. You had a big ego in seventh grade? No, they just were giving me shit. Captain Ego. I huh? didn't have it. Is was... that because of the other me? Exactly. Where you played two characters. Exactly. Or the blind wrestler. It fueled my. Uh... Either one of those performances. Well, ego my... is. He won a daytime though, Emmy for the blind wrestler. I was nominated. Not oh yeah, nominated. Sorry. Yeah, I went okay. looking for my ego the other day. I couldn't find it. Oh yeah. It was. Gone. I'll give you some of mine. It ran away. <laughs> it's like Matt's ego is like Peter Pan in his shadow. Oh God. I'm just find it and There's sew it. Something I forgot. Oh yeah, dust. Pixie dust. Well, it is a really interesting thing. Though. Why is your it adolescent is. Peter? What is that's P that's Peter's voice when he goes, Wendy? What? It sounds just like Michael J. Fox. Back I, I was going to say that it it's sounds the same voice, just like your Michael Doc, J. Fox impression. Are you telling me this thing's nuclear? It's that one, but know. it's literally listen which to is Peter Pan. also vaguely similar to your Jerry Seinfeld impersonation. No, Jerry's different. See, Jerry is They're like the same a, cadence. No, I'm thinking. Doc, has it? Well, Doc, I'm thinking. Hey, it? like, why you got to talk yeah. like that? That's what he says. I can't help it. How do you have this much energy right now? What are you talking about? What, where does your energy come from? It's our show of the week, baby. I'm saving all the energy for I'm the just, podcast of the week. I'm loving the detergent I use on this. Matt, Matt's got this special oh, that, detergent. That smell good. He smells loves good. it. It's that little weird thing. He's obsessed he with it. He travels with it. He goes, <sighs> you can have a little of this if you like. Yeah, like, like why is I this, have this very specific. What is this detergent that you have? Mm. What is it? Tell us. Tell us, Matt. Mm. You got an ego about that detergent. I think it's called detergent. Diva, actually. No, it's not. Yeah, I think it is. Diva? <laughs> yeah, I think oh. it is. God, he uses Diva. Ah, what an idiot! No, I'm kidding. Um, so nice. No, so yeah, so look. At the bottom, the bottom line is, uh, I think you have an ego about that detergent, a big ego, because you don't want to share it with anybody. You, no. didn't, you didn't share it with me. No, I asked you to leave some in the it laundry. You didn't do it. Size. It was a travel size. Dude, we were only there. I, for... I barely had enough for three loads. Speaking of, well, at least he didn't share his travel size. Joe has a giant jug and doesn't share that. Where? How did you know about that? Because I, when we were checking out, you know I walk in. There's a a full gallon of, of detergent. I'm like, Joe, I need to do laundry. Like, I didn't know what you did. You need to go about your snacks. Even when I go over, you won't share any of your snacks with me. I just look, guys. I've shared. He every doesn't even my eat them life. himself. I've shared. He just every... wants to know that they're there. No, it's true. no. I take them. You know, it's which is weird. I ration. Them. No, you know he's going to eat them because he starts to offer them to you. Right. So, so that's he when needs. Expired. He needs. Gone off. Oh right. yeah, yeah. They're all, no, the the the, the, the tail end. Of it. Tail like, end. I don't want them to go to waste. So like, hey, uh, Andy, if these are delicious, that? these are the best. You want to try these? are so good. Joe, these these expired in March last year. <laughs> They're so little... no. It says Best Buy. That's different. Okay, when it says Best Buy or Sell Buy, you're cool. Joe, I go to Best if it Buy. If it says Don't Eat, and trust me, no, I know it's not, not the, not the way technology. And they don't sell food there. You're an idiot. Not that store. You know when they say that it says Sell Buy, then it says Expires. The real question when is: When it says expire, here's the we question: can't eat it after. The bread in the markets. You know the little plastic things; yeah, those are color coded. And what do the colors mean? Well, the dates. Yeah, but I'm asking: like, what does yellow, blue, red, and white mean? The, I don't know. They're just numbers on them. You look at it. it. Says if it says expires. But if the numbers are worn off, it, then you don't buy it. I wouldn't do that. I know. That's yeah, that why means, you need to know what the that color. That means a lot of hands but, have been but on. Have it. But what, what? This is what happens to me, though. What? There's like three loaves left of the good bread that I want to oh, get. I know, I know. But you can't tell which one because there's better. there's right. no date. All the date's right. been worn off. Right. So which one do you grab? I don't know. I don't know. But That's now do you not grab them at all? The colors, guys. Well, the colors dictate the dates. That's why I'm asking. Do they you, do and, not yeah, I dictate the dates. You need to go back dates. to bed and get a 20 minute nap. And then yeah, the notes. colors dictate. Listen to what you just said. The colors dictate the dates. Yes, you morons. <laughs> Look this up. I think the dates dictate the colors. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Let's just. I, I, I think, I love how Matt and Joe constantly need to fact check that things that I say. Yeah, I'm handing it to you so you can Why check it out. Why'd you have my phone? Color tabs on hey, the breads Siri. in the supermarkets. Figure this out. Hey, Siri. Oh, here we go again. She never answers, and Joe. He doesn't like even a, know which one he's like talking parents. to. Siri. I'm the one that needs a nap. What do the colored tags on bread mean? That's a horribly designed question. Okay. Siri. I found this on the web for never answers and she'll Siri what do the colored tags on bread meat. Check it out. Read it. Okay. The colored tags and twist ties don't just keep your bread fresh. They also have an important meaning. Anyone who has ever bought bread before uh, has likely seen these colorful tags or twist ties that seal the bag. And if you're like us, you maybe even kept a drawer full of them to secure other bags later. That's but did you know that those bread tags That's serve another purpose? Idea. The colors of the tags actually tell you how fresh the bread is. It may sound crazy, but the different colors 
actually correspond to the day of the week the bread was baked and placed on shelves. Um, you can stop reading. I think we've proven a point. No, I think it's probably done, yeah. All right. Case closed. Oh, look at this. I got it. Monday is blue. Oh. Tuesday is green. Mm. Thursday is red. Friday is white. And Saturday is yellow. Is okay. that really it? And Repeat it one more time just so we all know this. You okay. shot that and send it to me. Next time I go shopping, yeah. I'll whip that. All right. So listen, uh, lovers out there. If you're buying bread. Yes. This is the fact of the day. Monday, the bread was baked if it's a blue tag. If it's a green tag, that means your bread was baked on Tuesday. If it was red, apparently they don't bake bread on Wednesday. Wednesday is a holy day for bread. Yeah, they don't do it. They don't day. The bread leavens on Wednesday. They just prep. They just let it rise. Yeah. Thursday's red. Friday's white. Saturday is yellow. Okay, so there you okay? go. Okay? Told you. So You're you welcome. come in there, and it's a Friday, and all they got is green tags. Moldy bread. Doing? It's old bread. Yeah, it's old bread. There. It's true. So there it is. So again, my fact was accurate. Yeah. Can somebody um can somebody draw us a chart, a bread tag chart, lovers? Yeah. Would you mind doing that? Send it in. We want to hang it up. We're gonna this you know we're kind of breaking in like the studio, so that's why we're asking for lots of artwork. Okay, we asked for the the Elon Musk Constantine thing. Yeah. So we mm-hmm. want we want a a bread chart, um art piece. That's what we want. All right. So we always know what tags correspond to what days. Because bread and water is what you need to survive. That that's actually it, right? All right, that's that's all I got. Well, I know I'm. My brain's still on this thing with Constantine and Elon Musk. Could we do like? Some- you said you have a picture of Elon Musk with wings above your bed, and Andy was like, "It could literally be the Constantine." I didn't poster. say that. Yes, you did. Andy said the wings. You can go back and, and watch this. He said it. I just. You I just said wish, I wish Elon I, Musk was Constantine. No, that's what he I said. wish. I just wish we wouldn't do the comparison with Elon Musk and Constantine. Can we do something good? Constantine was the shit. How about, okay, I got it. Elon he's Musk. He's the devil. No, Elon he's Musk not. and Van yes, Helsing. He is. No, he's not. Elon Musk and Van Helsing. That's another dark character. He's a vampire hunter. Elon Musk is a is a hunter of technology. Why is Elon Musk in all these, like... Because he's got him plastered all over his walls. I don't know why. I don't have a single Elon Musk poster. Show off the Musk tattoo. Fine. So, there it is. He's got the cyber truck under his arm. <laughs> Here it is. Cyber truck. Look at this. But it's got so a broken weird. window. Why? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to get that fixed when it actually comes out. <laughs> Ah, it's great. So, wow. So here's the deal. I think in life, I don't know. You, you need know, a little bit of the ego. ego gets the best of you. You need a little if bit. If you let it, but you got to have a little bit of an ego because, well, and there's a difference, I think, between self-confidence and being like arrogant. And I think arrogance more is ego, where I think confidence is more just security in who you are and what you want to accomplish. Well, yeah, I think what you're saying is that ego is, so, there is some importance to it. Yes. However, and when everyone's it, got one, by the way. Everyone's got. I don't want to hear like I have no ego. But when, you do. but when I think when ego turns bad is when it starts to get in the way of either doing working with other people, right, or gets in the way of something that good could happen in your life, but your ego won't allow it. That right. stuff is when when your ego starts to inflate, mm-hmm. then it becomes a real problem. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I can't stand like. Well, I, I don't have a lot. I'm just gonna be honest here. I don't have a lot of friends that Everybody are that. actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I don't either. I tend to gravitate more because to I'm so egotistical. <laughs> right, right. We can't even mesh. I yeah. can't get along with other actors. These I'm two the egos in a room. Yeah. You no. call yourself a thespian? I'm the thespian. <laughs> <laughs> Spitting everywhere. <laughs> the thespian. Uh, no, I, you know, it's... It's <laughs> anyway, the ones that have egos, I, 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 I when an ego fills a room, I, I have to leave. I well, can't. Can't I is, say this room isn't big enough for the both of our egos. Yeah, the problem Can't is do. the ego shuts down a actor. lot of a lot of you know places where you can find common ground. Ego takes a lot of that away, and 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 life exists in the common areas. That's mm-hmm. where life thrives with the, with the common you know, like people. Like in here, like in here. That's why that's why we can be here. People. There are three circles in here. Yes, there but are. But those common three circles do. are overlapping. We're like the Olympics, and in that overlap, We're like the Olympics. It's all concentrated energy. And it it's so much better than the individual circles. Ah, wow, Matt, that was really well Think about said. it. Three really circles, nice they overlap. You've got three Convergent. en- convergence of yes. energies. Yes. Now, we need to get that nft You know what, actually, my point. ego got a little bruised the other day. Why? Because I was thinking about you two guys, Aww. and I came Thank across some you. really moving posts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I sent them to you guys. 
with a caption that said, What? I love you two guys more than you'll ever know. No, you did not. Where did you send Nothing. it? Did you text me? Crickets. Well, did, you said, I, I got know. me. Nothing from you. You didn't guys. text me anything. <sighs> I didn't. Nothing. He definitely didn't send the caption. You he didn't did text send me. the video. Wait, 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 wait. I already sent the video. I don't actively check my social media. It was a DM. You sent me a message on Instagram. On Instagram. Sound like a, come on, man. Do you know what that message was? I don't know. Let me see. There was a post that said there was. So, wait a minute. There the was the strongest working Clydesdale. Yeah. Can pull sixteen hundred pounds. Right. Don't quote me exactly on the poundage. Oh, it's something. It wasn't even a remotely like this. Can pull 1,600 pounds. Right. You get two of them together. They could pull, what's 16 times two? 3,200. 3,200. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. If they work at it over the course of years, right. they can maybe get up to 52, 6,200 pounds. How do they do that? More, Sometimes they can get Clydesdales? up to 15,000 pounds. Two they're, Clydesdales? They're working together and they're pulling. Do you know what happens when you get two brothers together? They beat each other up. They can <laughs> pull 56,000 pounds. Pounds. You said 60 and that's pounds because already, so no, wait, that's, the horses. You mean this is real? Yeah, so I'm thinking. I don't think we. Can now do you're that. breaking this down on another animal level, but the yeah. same applies to all. Oh, I get no. It's all, all relative. Aspects. It's all right. relevant. Do you know what happens when you get two brothers on the same wavelength? Wavelength. It will always beat two other guys, two other girls, two girls and guys. Even if they work well together, you right? just. It'll always. What's the difference between two brothers, Hold on. And two brothers in the same wavelength? Hold on, hold on. Listen, no, he didn't. He didn't say that. He said he said two guys and two brothers. The two brothers are going to pull more than the two guys. Always, because the right. genetic and you know what overlap. happens when you get three always. brothers together. What if you get? You know what happens when you get three brothers you together? You get a podcast. You get the Bee Gees. You know. Nothing beats the Bee Gees. No, but my point of it is, and then I sent you guys another one. How deep is your love? Where this one brother, yeah. they're on marathons. The Honestly, I don't check. My, I didn't get any of these. I don't the brother, check. I don't check my DMs. Right before he's in second, even. he's in first place. Yeah, he's he's sorry. Ran himself to beyond exhaustion, and he gets about a hundred feet from the darn finish line. Yeah, and he. He collapses on the side. Right. That's you. The guy behind him goes past and is like, <laughs> the guy behind him goes past and is like, yeah, I'm going to win now that this guy overexerts. Right. But the guy in the third place comes Trust along him. and when he gets up to him, he grabs him, push him over and carries him, which is illegal. It de disqualifies both of them. So the guy that now is going to win the, the, the silver medal right. disqualify himself. It was his brother. And he refused to cross the finish line without his brother. Didn't matter if he win or lose. Really? He wanted to do it with his brother. What a schmuck. Wow. So, now they're both dude, losers. I sent amazing... these posts to you Wait. two guys and I get nothing. Well, I got to be honest one with you, of brother. Won, I got to be like, honest with you. I didn't I didn't Carry the them. family name across Wait. the finish line. But My not. point was is that Don't worry, when I would brothers finish. can work together. I would win one, for you guys. They can ditch the ego. Do. I'd say winning. Yes. yes. And they can actually put their minds to a greater cause, no one will be brothers or sisters or siblings. You know what? No one. I agree with that. No and one. You know what's what crazy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two very weak brothers and two very strong men, and like just genetically, no matter how much the brother the brothers you... will figure out a we'll anyway. figure out a way. Oh, no, this shut is... up. Shut up. Go in the well, corner. You don't know what I'm talking flawed. about. Does it flawed. sound flawed? Sounds flawed. No, he's wrong. Flawed. It's not flawed. It's not flawed. The brothers will find a way. Not flawed. Okay, because the brothers. They're brothers. <laughs> it's not like someone pitching us for like a show. They're brothers. The brothers. All right. The brothers come into a town. True, they yeah. don't like him at Research first. Research it. And all of a sudden, at the end of the day, True. they repaint the, the local uh, firehouse and they're friends. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> a, no, listen. It's um, a very true statement. You know what? Place. I agree. I agree with that. Just and I got to be honest with you. And I got to be honest with you. Um, oh, I think what's amazing is that, speaking of egos. Because the only time we've ever failed, honestly, when you really think about it, it's probably because of our egos got involved. Yeah. In between the three of us. Oh, absolutely. I agree with that. I think I agree with that. that okay. Here and you know what? To that point, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest? I, with you? Ego has never. There was a period of time. Ship. Look, we worked together Maybe a lot. Maybe somebody has. Wait a minute. No, we worked together a lot. We worked together a lot. Okay, and uh, you know. Oh um, please. Oh please. Get out of here with that. I love how Matt has all these ego stories that he's yeah. reminiscing about. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. egos can bring yeah. down the ship? You got a huge ego. No. You know, I've been hearing a lot lately, and it makes what? me think I should probably have some, start having thinking about having a family. What? Is it most people out there yeah. don't even take a man seriously without children. Because they feel like a, a, a guy can, like, even in hiring, this is an underlying factor. Yeah, that's, that's ego, bro. They won't, hi they'll that's hire ego. the guy who has kids over the guy who doesn't because they feel like he's more responsible. I don't know really? about that. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. I feel like you know what? Actually, I think that's true. I feel like 1952 is calling your name. So my point is, and you need to go no, work at an ad agency. Yeah, a lot of up, a lot of up. Listen, Matt's gonna go work at an ad agency. What I, 
Okay. It's, it's like what women want. Then I'll be replaced by Helen Hunt. It's Mad Men, actually. <laughs> Damn it! Taking it further back. Oh, further back, right ad agency, right? Well, what women want? He worked for an ad agency too. Remember that? Yeah. So that's a slightly newer reference, you know, because no, actually, you're wrong. Oh, you're wrong. You're Mad right. Men. Why would I work for an ad agency? Because 1952 is calling it. I don't know why. Because the men, you got a family. Oh, so you got a family. Okay. All right. No, this isn't. You're responsible. No, you're this responsible. isn't some misogynistic, like, exactly. no, patriarchal. You got three kids and a woman planet. working in the kitchen at home? No. no, no I mean, what saying, are you talking about? It's so weird. He's just saying that he's Man saying with that a family, wife and kids. He's saying that, wait a minute. He's That's a rock. That a person with children is perceived Let me ask a you something. Person. If you got a man pulling 5,000 pounds, and oh, then you got God. a man with a family, <laughs> they could pull 52,000 pounds. Why? Because there's a family that they're pulling for. He's on a roll. This is what they're pulling for. He's being a little shit, dude. Just yep. Norm. Circling right. back around to a week ago or two weeks ago, whatever it was, we were talking about casting your pearls to swine. Yeah. I mean, hold on a minute. We did have an ego for a while, and I'll tell you when it when it set in. It was no, like we a, don't. It was a collective. Weird don't say thing. we. Well, not really. You got to single yourselves out. You're right. For your no, egos. I, uh, no. Here's the deal. We all had this huge ego. No, we, we didn't. Oh, we, we didn't. We didn't. Ship. I said a little bit. I'm like, what are you but, talking about? But I we never... did allow certain tendencies at certain times to get involved Absolutely. of the creative process. And We're I think all guilty it, of it. And I think Period. that <laughs> we are. Yep. And I think, why are you roping me in? I'm just a little brother. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. guilt. I would have done By association, I guess, yeah. here. This is what yeah, the, yeah. You need to start to assume responsibility. A little bit of responsibility I mean, for what you caused. All of the problems. Uh, <laughs> you guys are insane. No, you. And I think, sorry. And I think that, and I think that we... Honestly, I think that that we missed out on like a good 10, 12 years of creating together. That's why I brought it up. Right. And I think that when, I don't know what it was, like what, three, four years ago, we just said, you know what? This is silly. And I think I know why Andy pointed to me, we're talking about ego. And that is because which is actually, one. well, yes. my, I never had one of those overinflated <laughs> egos. I just never did. No, but, no. But know. there was a period there where I, you were Despise the, you, guys. you had come up <laughs> as the heartthrob. Right, 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 right. You were the the, right. you know, the t very recognizable TV, this and that, and who me? They wanted. It's weird. They uh, it's the, weird. they, but the powers that be, you know, people who ran networks or television. The powers that be, mom. They, they wanted to <laughs> <laughs> our mother. They wanted to slide me into that same right, right thing, right. And you didn't so, want that. and I didn't want it. Um, and that was mainly just because I wanted to forge my own road. You know, it's a classic thing. It. Like any sibling's gonna go through no, with dude, any other sibling. I get it, man. I get it. So or what may have been perceived as maybe. ego, and maybe there was a little bit in it, but really what it was, was just at 18 or 19, I was like, I'm done working in the brother's thing, and I wanna go do my own thing. Right. It was just like, you know, yep. what Justin Timberlake did to sync. Yeah, like, I get know. it. No, you go like, I- Are you saying I'm that gonna... you're Justin Timberlake? <laughs> I was waiting for you oh to pick that up. I was waiting for that. that. That was a bad analogy. Yes. But it's just like anything else. I just wanted to be, so that's why I, was the first one to go and try to do my own thing. That's what Oates did to Hall and Oates. Exactly. It didn't work out too good. Um, no, but uh, you know, I I just feel like um, you're probably right. That's probably what that Started was for it. you. But but regardless, yeah. And then I think our egos got into it. And we're like, oh okay. So then fine. Then we just won't do that. We yeah. just won't do anything together like but that. Obviously, we never. It's clarified. We're not you, close you personally. Look, you looked but at it Matt just, when you said our egos because that circles us back to the yeah. we. Our egos. Brought down the ship. Yeah, and our I'm egos. still sitting here waiting for. Wow, lucky for you, dude. I'm lucky just saying. For you. We well, have no, but here, so you're right, Andy. You Joe amazing? and I had the egos of you, but now yeah. it's now it's your ego. That's oh yeah, a it's, it's becoming a real. <laughs> Has he well, ever dragged yeah. you off to the side of the set? Yes. Come here. I'm gonna tell you something right now. No, <laughs> nobody's Listen safe. Listen to me, Matt. When our executive producer comes up, yes. to oh, you God. bloody well. Oh, nobody God. Oh, God. is oh, safe God. on my set. I know. I including know. me. Nobody's safe. Boy, Andy me. turned into James Cameron. I know. Sudden, I know. Right. When this happened. I make the crew sleep in bunks. It took me 10 years we to work. make mistletoe mix up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better read those exact lines. And his cheeks are oh, all like, God. nobody is safe okay, on this production. And I will fire myself if I have to. Just remember that, Joe. It was 10 days. I will fire my fucking self. We wrote it in 10 days. Andy, you're... It's You're a not Christmas <laughs> movie. It's a Christmas movie You're with children. To, yeah. <laughs> Pain is temporary. Film is forever. Oh God! Pain is temporary. Nobody's safe. Film is forever. Not on my productions. Not on my. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is, I'm there literally like. If you're gonna see me, like Andy's like walking around directing, he's dropping things, so I'm picking him up and I'm like putting him in the yeah. pocket, putting his jacket on, doing yeah. all those things, and then in the movie wraps, and Mom and Andy are sitting there, and he's like, Yeah, you know. 
Joe really picked up the slack on this one. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the hell? Joe picked up the slack on this one. We don't want anybody getting a big head on your set. You, know? oh, God. you gotta keep everybody on the scene. Joe is the real winner on this one. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Because of Joe. <laughs> Keep Matt under control. Yeah. This one's got an ego. It, it cuts, yeah. Way to go, Matt. Maybe yeah. the next time around you'll come through. I just, I just remember. Do you like your coffee, Matt? <laughs> exactly. It was average. As a man, right. it's got Thanks. Joe really came through. Thanks, Matt. I love you. <clears throat> what is this? Oat milk? You know I love that. Um, My favorite memory of Joe from this last movie is the whole crew. Everybody's like standing outside, freezing. It's nine degree weather. They're out there for hours waiting for Joe and Matt to come outside. And then uh, Matt comes out. And then Joe comes out oh, okay. in a full ski parka, gloves, and he gets into a, a heated car. And he's sitting there, and he rolls down the window, and he goes to the crew, who are all freezing, standing outside. And he goes, is it freezing, guys? It's really cold. And he rolls the window back up, and he's sitting in this heated car. Ah, uh, it's so funny. Oh, Matt, Matt and I were in tuxedos in that weather, too. Mutiny. Tuxedos yeah, for hours that morning. They were. Hours. Yeah. For about an hour. At least several hours. At least an but hour. But as I told you, because of my cold showers and crying. Yeah, I know. It worked True. well for us. I happen to actually be able to deal with the cold quite a bit better than you, and that's why I suggested cryo and cold showers. Actually, Matt did say cryo a lot. Mm, yeah. Cryo is really important. It's great. It's great. It's helped me quite a bit. It's actually, it's done wonders. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's done wonders for my e <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's done wonders for my ego. All right, guys. Ding, ding, ding. Hopefully, uh, let's see here. My brother. Hello. Listening. How are you? Hi. She's oh, listening. Oh. Yeah. So guys, who do we have? Andy, take it, take it away. You take can, it away. Yeah, take it away. Bailey, can you can you hear can us, you hear Bailey? <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Brotherly, Brotherly Love podcast. podcast. Bing. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're so excited to have you. Um, Where so, are you calling from today? Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Nice. Hey. Another. This is the amazing. Garden, the Garden State. The Garden State. Like I could throw a rock from where we grew up in New Jersey. Yeah, 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 definitely. We were we were we were tri-state area. You yeah, know, we were... uh, children ourselves. So, yeah, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Yep, I've been here my whole life. So, I don't know any differently. <laughs> wow. That's that's okay. Do you like it? Are you happy? Uh, we're looking to move. I'll say that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are you I really? Mean, where? Where? Are I you like, thinking? I guess, um, Costa Rica. Yes. Probably. Just anywhere not, yeah, not in the U.S. This is basically. great. Really? This is, I love Costa Rica. <clears throat> wow. Mm. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Costa Rica. Okay. Yeah, we've been there before, but yeah, we're more of like, you know, I mean, we have the beach here in Jersey. I'm like 10 minutes from the beach, but Costa okay. Rica is just a whole other. It's a whole other kind know, of beach. A whole oh, yeah. other vibe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. You're not going to get cool. the boardwalk, though, you know, and uh, the Coors ice cream. Yeah. Do you guys, do you, yeah, have you ever had Coors? It's my, I, I love it. The oh, soft, yeah. The soft Every serve. summer. Oh, my gosh. Me too. I love it. Every summer, with like yeah. the jimmies, I always get the I always get the chocolate vanilla swirl in like rainbow the jimmies. rainbow jimmies. Or something. Yeah, yeah, so good, so good. Just a disclaimer um, for anybody who didn't grow up on the East Coast: uh, jimmies are also sprinkles. Or yes, the toppings that you put on top of ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah. Just but on the East Coast, know. we call them jimmies. Call them jimmies. And Coors ice cream, the best soft serve. Like it's legit custard yeah. soft serve. Yeah. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. it's the best. Um, yeah. Awesome. So we were we were talking. Obviously, we talk every week here about um, you know sibling dynamics and just relationships and all the ins and outs of life and what that means. And you know, we uh, it's so cool to have siblings because if you're close with your siblings, you literally will talk about anything. It's like the vault. You know, there's 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 oh, yeah. there's no space that you know that, that that you don't feel comfortable talking you know in. And um, that certainly is the way it is with us. But uh, we love each week, you know, to take a caller in, somebody that has a story to share, and then we talk about that for a few minutes, and we get to welcome your energy to our podcast. So that's what we're doing now. So take it away and tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of your situation, what you're calling in about. All right? Um, so I'm a twin. Um, I have a brother. So our names are Bailey and Bradley. My mom just had to do that. <laughs> she nice. To make I them like similar. it. Um, yeah. So... Um, yeah, so we're actually, obviously we're fraternal twins, um, but actually something that's really rare, and I actually didn't know this, I'm almost 30 years old, my mom just told me, we shared a placenta, which before like yeah. 2003 actually went against everything and every medical textbook that like, yeah, so basically right. like doctors, they said doctors couldn't prove that fraternal twins could share a placenta 
um, before 2003, even though we were wow. born That's in 1996. That's unbelievable. But it, it wasn't the, recorded. That is amazing because the placenta is actually an organ that the body uh, develops in order to oxygenate and feed the baby as it grows. But for you and your brother to mm-hmm. share the same one, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think I read it the other night, actually. I think like 70% of identical twins share one, but like never fraternal. Right, twins, right, right. So for the fraternal, I right, feel exactly. Like that has, yeah. So I feel like that has given us like, I know they say like twin telepathy is a thing. Like, I swear it's a thing, especially because we did share one. Mm-hmm. So uh, like, I don't gosh. doubt. Yeah, you gotta that. tell us oh, more about that. Yeah, tell us tell more us, about because I, yeah. I gotta be honest. I mean, we constantly say this. We're, <laughs> we 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 didn't share a placenta, and we're not twins. But just even the genetic closeness, we feel like we can, yeah, finish each other's senses at times. Totally. I mean, totally. oh yeah, totally. Yep. So yeah, yeah. Is there a certain example? Well, so like, as when we were kids, we were always close, and then through high school and college, like we both kind of, you know, we had our own friends and everything. We would just have like the monthly like you know catch up in the kitchen every time we would see each other right um mm-hmm. it wasn't until um actually i moved out and got married that we became like super close and now we see each other all the time and so now we really notice those things about how like we do we finish each other, each other's sentences we're always thinking the same exact thing like we could communicate with a look so cool and then your mom dropped this bomb on you guys that you shared this placenta you just said you recently found that out right yeah you guys should get yeah, sweatshirts. Yeah. Um, I had a baby five months ago, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so she was just telling me about like our birth and everything. She's like, oh yeah, you guys shared a placenta. And the nurse said she'd never seen that before, ever. Wow. So that is yeah, so I thought that cool. was pretty crazy. And it, then I didn't know that until now. I so. know. <laughs> wow. Have that you, is so cool. Did, have you and your brother ever thought about yeah. working together? No, he's actually- Maybe at a casino? <laughs> Throwing it out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's the dealer and you just happen to walk in and get his table. Oh, yeah. Or you're playing blackjack and sit on, you know, <laughs> full candles. I do think he absorbed all the talent though. Cause he's like, you know, singer songwriter. And I'm just, you know, I mean, not that it, not, you know, it's not just a mom, like I'm a stay at home mom, but he got all the talent. So I always tell him that I'm jealous. Well, so. There's right he brain, all left the talent brain from people. the placenta, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. So, yeah, exactly. That's so cool. All right. So he's, he's I, I say that with these two guys that I, yeah. I drained all of the, uh, well, I came first. All so I drained most of it. <laughs> Whatever was left over went into him I, and then the, the scraps went into this. I think it here. said they saved the best for last. Ooh, that is an expression. But I have heard that. Or but third time for the charm. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I have heard that, but not referred to siblings. Mm. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Was there is there like a specific kind of crazy instance or something that you guys had some sort of connection or knew each other's thoughts or was like something I don't know, like did one of you have a flat tire and the other one called you randomly or is there just something that sticks out uh specifically <laughs> um that um, I don't know, some sort of supernatural. Nothing nothing like specific, but I will say though it has, you know, like gotten us in trouble a couple of times with us being able to like, communicate with just a look at like mm-hmm. different family gatherings or, um, yeah. you know, some some not so appropriate social situations where you should be cracking up laughing at each other yeah, just so from, cool. you know, yep. knowing what the other person is thinking, you know? Yep. So, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's it's gotten us in trouble a few times. That's, <laughs> awesome. yeah, I'm that's sure. for sure. That's awesome. You like run out of milk and he comes to the door. Got a gallon of milk. You're like, what the heck is this yeah, about? Yeah. You read my mind. How man. did you do this? It's yeah. so cool. Yeah, that would that would be nice. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We we do that sometimes, but only after Matt calls me and says, Can you bring milk? So it's a little different. It's usually ice, actually. Yeah, I always ice. try. You bring a bag of ice. I always go, I really, really need this. Andy, yeah. Andy's gonna get it. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Wow. Oh, yeah, we literally tried sitting there and being like, oh, I'm talking to you through my mind. (laughs) But obviously, (laughs) you just do it without even thinking. It's true. Without even realizing. It happens when you're not thinking about it. You guys are probably kick ass at like heads up and charades and any sort of trivia game. I'm suggesting working together. Would be just domination over there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Of course. You, You said you have your first baby or you just had your first baby? Yes, yeah, in June. So I saw that you're having a baby. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yep, just lining them up. I got uh, this will be my third one. <laughs> yeah. Look, this will be my thirteenth. Oh, never mind. oh gosh, no, 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 I'm not Nick Cannon. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not Nick Cannon for God's sake. Yeah. That guy Every is, photo's uh, the same too. Yeah. I, I, 
I know. Number 13. Nick Cannon, actually, the crazy thing was, I think he's expecting 13 before 12. That's what was so weird about it. It was like, this is my 13th baby, and then they released his 12th baby. Like, when did that one happen? I forgot about it. I'm sorry. I skipped never 12 know. by accident. Yeah, it was an amazing thing. It was an amazing thing. But um, yes, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing, right? Life changing, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, it definitely is. I'm still getting used to it. So. <laughs> I'm sure. It really is. It's incredible and then exhausting at the same time. Yeah. yeah. It really is. The first one especially is such a culture shock because you go through your whole life and you don't realize that every facet of everything that you used to do is completely different. Like, not in a bad way. It's just, it's all oh, different. Yeah. You know, by the second one, obviously, you're a little more used to it. And then so many years go by now. My oldest is almost 17. And you just almost forget what it was like to be able to do things without having to think about your children, you know, because uh, it gets so long from oh, the yeah. time. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. That. Yeah. I don't even remember really what it's like to have yeah, a exactly. clear thought yeah. without, you know, like yeah. thinking about my kids or something that I have to do or something, you know, so does your, crazy. Does your brother have any kids no but you know what's interesting i was forgot to mention this no he doesn't um but you know what's crazy is for like half of my daughter's life so far she looked exactly like my brother mm. and like not like me i mean we look very similar me and my brother but for like three months out of the six months she's been alive she looked exactly like wow. him which was wow that's crazy cool. Um, really especially because my husband yeah my husband's like a puerto rican italian so we obviously do not look alike at all right. um and so you would think those genes would be stronger but i guess my brother's genes were the strongest so <laughs> wow i thought it was hilarious yep he must love that <laughs> yeah <laughs> brother's genes in the house <laughs> i know yeah I'm like yeah. diesel. So I'm I guess like that's jeans. what can happen when you share a placenta. <laughs> yeah. What happens? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. I was like, I carried this baby for nine months just for her to look exactly like you. Like that's kind of messed up. <laughs> wow. I, I have a, I have a question for you. Did, did you and your brother growing up ever have, since you guys were so close and how, and how close you are now and, you know, sharing thoughts and stuff, did you ever have an ego about like each other or you know, I'm the, I came first or I'm the smarter. Which one, or, yeah. which one thought it first? Yeah. Which one thought it first? That's a great question. Um, well, I mean, I was born first. I'm 18 oh. months older technically, oh, but, uh, okay. it's, Seniority. <laughs> it's interesting. I feel like he was always not that parents have a favorite child, but I almost felt like he kind of was, um, you know, Mr. Like perfect. And mm. um, <laughs> I know the feeling I kind of felt in that way. Yeah, so um, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You no, know, that hasn't you know affected me at all in adulthood, but um, yeah, that and you know all this talent I'm jealous of, but <laughs> that's about it. Wait a minute, I'm catching an underlying current here. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. did he flaunt his did he flaunt his <laughs> musical abilities all the time, just break into song? No, I mean he didn't get started till probably high school. So okay, and that's when we were you know in our different friend groups and in our different <laughs> circles. So. Gotcha. It's, I never, ever thought that he would be into that, but now it's like his life's passion. So, oh, well, that's cool. That's so are you, cool. Are you a fan I'm still of trying his... to figure out my talents. Nice. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come. Actually, yeah. One of his songs, um, my daughter, we play it for her at bedtime and she loves it. That's so awesome. That's super cool. That is really cool. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. That's really, yeah. really, really cool. Wow. Well, in a way, you're kind of lucky that your brother didn't discover his musical talents until his later years because. Um, Joe discovered him early on, and we've been listening to Joe's music since he was a five-year-old. <laughs> He's been putting on song and dance shows for us for eternity. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I really have. I haven't charged him, though. It's, it's actually somehow cost me money <laughs> to have them listen to my stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> paying us off. Yeah, you should have been charging. To, to be his listening Come bar. to my show. I'll give you guys $100 each, okay? Just come to the show. All right, yeah, brother, yeah. <laughs> That's, funny. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Well, listen, thank you so much yeah, for, for, for calling to in us. today and sharing that. That's really cool. And, uh, you know, we're just, this is becoming yeah, like. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. We've been saying this is this has become like one of our favorite parts of doing this uh, show so far is just being able to talk to people like yourselves with cool stories and stuff. So keep them coming. And our mission is to be able to, you know, do this long enough that we get to check back with everybody too. Just sort of do an update checkup. So, you know, see if you have any more kids. Oh, yeah. If they share a placenta, maybe twins yeah. run in the family. Oh, we'll see after this one. So you never know. That's true. They do. Yeah, they oh, do. Oh, gosh. I and was it skips a generation. Of that. It yes. skips a generation. Think, so it would be the next yeah. one up. Right. 
kids. Well, the next kid. Yeah, my mom did say that, but then I also I read that I had like a sixty percent chance, wow. like more, of having a, a twins. All right. Well, listen. Thank you so much for calling in. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much for yeah, the story. Barely. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure we'll it. talk again soon. All right. Yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You bet. Have a you good bet. Rest of your day. All right. Yep. All right. See you later. God bless. Bye. Bye. Nice. Wow. Pretty Crazy. Cool. I wish we shared a placenta. I'm glad we didn't. We've shared enough with you, dude. <sighs> I think mom still has your placenta. Yeah, she has all of our mm. placenta. No, she has my umbilical cord thing. She has all of our umbilical cords. And all of our placentas. I don't know about the placenta. You know what's funny? You know, what doing with you know what I thought about when I saw it? I was like, if I got hungry enough, I eat it. What the fuck are you it's saying? It's like a little boogie. It's like a little boogie, you know, dude. I do the same thing with scabs. Be fucking 42 years scabs? old. Scabs? You eat a fucking dried out jerky placenta <laughs> 40 plus years ago? It's like those chomps from Trader oh, Joe's. I told you it might be strange, but that's the those, thought that went through This is my brain <laughs> cycle. <laughs> Kipto, my placenta from 40 years ago. Where is it? Yeah. I want it. Wait a minute. You Next know thing he's going to start this? hunting for his foreskin. You know, oh, my God. You know what the... <laughs> well, what the hell is this? Salty. No, uh, listen. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I finally get it. <laughs> what the... Is there any way you can uh, reattach this? Oh, my God. You're disgusting. Listen to me. I hear what... I lost like 2,000 sensitivities. Will you, will you shut yeah, up? You know what they're doing? So weird. The... It said it was like at least a square, a couple square feet that I lost. But yet, this is all you gave me. So I'm just a little confused. You said you cut off like this much. And... Relatively speaking, it should have been a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Fine. Um, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that scene from Listen to the me. mask where he pulls Fine. up. Yes. The, the little old yes. beater car. The old pulls beater up car. He's trying to show yeah. off for camera. Show up in a Maserati That's and you're leaving a Pinto. Car. Right. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Listen to me. Hold on. Do you know what the trend has been of late? Check this weird stuff out. They take the placenta Yeah, you rub it on your face. Inject it. Vampire shots. They're not Hannibal Lecter, fucker. Shut up. Listen to me. They take the placenta. I've done this. Uh, I, I'm sure you have. They take the placenta. Yeah, they swing by cedars. It. They freeze dry it oh. and grind it up. Yeah, put it in pills. Getting... And you take it. You eat it. Well, because they're saying the nutrients in it. Now, there's no scientific. You're encouraging benefit. his bizarre so they, thoughts. There's no. He was talking about eating his placenta. Yeah, dude. And now you're telling they do, me, but they take it in vitamins. Powder form it and yeah. put it in a daily vitamin. Yes. What do you mean? They're doing it. They go, hey, this. You know you what they say about cravings. Placenta? You're disgusting. How about no, this, they say they're coming from a real genetic spot. That your body's craving a certain nutrient. Cut to yourself. Matt. Yourself? Matt, Matt's sweeping I up. I want to eat myself. So there was something about Matt's, that little scabby Matt's placenta that seemed like I should eat self it. Sweeping up cedars. Yeah, no, I got the clean. Don't worry about it. It's I got room 3B. <laughs> so by the way, the reason it's why still... this makes sense is because <laughs> all... That's <laughs> 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 so gross. I almost just vomited in my mouth. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then he, then he, I go bleed to cafeteria. Speaking of which, if you guys watch I mean, Dahmer. Yeah. Okay, listen. Matt, we're getting you help. You walk in, there's no, just I'm a bunch of mannequins. I'm having trouble. Mannequins posed in his house around his Ooh. dinner table. We all eat placenta together. Can you imagine this weird stuff, dude? In pills. Yeah. But in wait, pills. There's a, there's a little bit of scientific evidence to back this. And the, the he was throwing up in his mouth three seconds ago. Now he's going to break down the science. I know. Well, no, I, I think down, it's man. gross to eat a raw placenta, but... But uh, if you fillet it, me. just sear the outside. Garlic no, no, salt no, no, works no. on everything. 30 however, seconds in the microwave, however, you're killing all the germs. Most other mammals on the planet, females, mm. not the males, so it doesn't really make sense for males to be taking it, but most other mammalian females do eat the placenta. They also consume... For two reasons. They also consume their infant's shit. For two reasons. There's a difference for two between reasons. humans and other species. What, you know what the two reasons uh, are? What? No. You really don't know what the two reasons are. I can't. One's Nutritional to, value one's and to keep their babies clean. No, one to disguise the smell because of predators, and two, yes, because they're re-ingesting all of the nutrients that were put. So in that's the what Matt, Matt wants they to were disguise from their body. His scent so they, for it predators. gives them, it gives them a, a, a boost because the the mother is is more more worried about getting the baby to its feet, getting the baby suckling, than it is about taking care of herself. So if she eats that placenta. Naturally, but she also it's a boost of vitamins that's going to go right back into the her fecal baby and right back into the of the generation. babies as well. They yeah. do that strictly for smell. They don't want the the smell of the shit laying around so predators can smell them. Okay, right, right. So, so that that is a point where the wow. mother's health gets sidelined to the baby's survival, which well, that's will the, always be the most important. Well, so that is the checking way your the, basically what you're telling me is you check in your ego. Well. 
and you're doing Did you whatever get all you that can. on the mic, by the way, because I was way off the mic, and I thought that was a pretty good fact. No, it's cool. We didn't need that on mic. <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. I'm, uh, wow. He just says things to be cool on camera. No, I that? don't. He checked. He checked in with the control board. He was like, "And well, that's a great fact." I was back we here. got that. Did we? We got that. Cut. Right? We got that. Okay. Keep saying, right. it's up and I leave. keep looking over and I keep getting. And so I'm like, oh, maybe I should. Well, because be you're doing calisthenics really in your chair. Story. Yeah, you're stretching when you're supposed to be on this little thing. Right? Power move. For some reason I power like move to do the power move back here. I think if you eat your own placenta, it's because you got a big ego. That's what I think. Oh. I ate myself. I'm so damn good. I ate me. Well, you couldn't eat your own placenta because you couldn't produce it. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to eat my placenta. Even no, he's talking about the placenta baby. that he was created from his birth. Yeah, from my own uh, placenta. Brings us back to the jerky's placenta that you're. Which actually brings us back to the fact that a woman can grow a placenta. They, well, it's an organ. Wow. The organ grows, and it's just specifically for the birth. Dude. How crazy! Is you that? know, when yeah. I was younger, I used to get confused between placenta and polenta. Oh, polenta, yeah. Because it kind of looks like a placenta. It does. With the beef. Up. When you put the red sauce yeah, in Yeah, it. it's very bloody. I was always so like, they, why are they serving placenta? And they should. Yeah. And then mom should was do. like, no, no, honey, that's polenta. They right. should make a placenta that looks like polenta. This was a few weeks ago. That's right. A polenta more placenta. edible for everybody. A polenta placenta. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, guys. We're out of here. It's been fun. Talk Great. to you guys next week. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, get out of here. All right? I go eat run. your four See you, man. Ready to do our show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go eat your placenta. We'll catch up with you in a minute. Thanks for joining us today. For more Lawrence Brothers, join our Patreon. Ooh,